I don't believe this shit. Last night was a terrible show where I live right here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Terrible show. Terrible freaking ass show. Uh, terrible fucking show last night. My my um where I, where I live. My second hometown. I'm not my, 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 my well, 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 Indianapolis is not really my hometown. It's really a neighbor. Pump Beach, Pump Beach, Florida. Neighbor. Terrible show where I live here in Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Terrible show. I'm the Godfather of Soul, Justin Lewis Fleming. And um, I'm here to uh, give all of you my thoughts about last night. My rant. Real rant about last night's Monday, Raw, Monday Night Raw. Late Chad Henshaw used to say, I like to dress like Chubby Checker, sing like Lil Wright, Lil Richie, dance like James Brown, like to get in that hot tub, don't make me sweat, don't make me dry, don't make me wet. Name my topic is called Idiotic in Indianapolis. As Lou, Lou Morgan. Lou Morgan has became a bitch, is a bitch, bitch. Was not as much, much as Lou, as as um that for Rhea Ripley. Yeah, she just came just as a bitch as Rhea Ripley is. I'm okay. What he did did wear breaking her arm about a year ago. But I can't. But, but she came just as a bitch as I thought she was. Where was um. And what what was what 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 um outcome um what will um what will happen what what would um where was the what 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 will go on with the Wyatt six and is money in the bank is the two thousand is the money in the bank is money is the money in the bank two thousand twenty four going in um going going to going to be doomed. I believe so. Really, got gonna, gonna make a little bit of, get ready for a rant. Idiotic in Indianapolis last night. Today is it's Tuesday, June twenty fifth, two thousand twenty four, and today I'm um, t um today um today in this midnight I'm gonna close open up with something a little all of you today. I'm gonna open up this number one hit single from nineteen ninety four. Something by Elton John called Circle of Life. For those of you who know that yesterday was the 30th anniversary release of the, of the Disney, uh, bo the box office smash shit, the Disney animated feature film in 1994 called The Lion King. So here it is to open up the show by Elton John, Circle of Life. Stick around and get ready to rant. Get ready for a rant, everybody. Get ready. Um, but let me get the song set up first. Wow, first Liv Morgan screws, first Liv Morgan screwed Lena Vega out of her opportunity of being qualifying the money, money in the Bank match. Women's Money in the Bank match, now she screws Mid Miz and our truth out of the Raw Tag Team titles. But you know, I think it, but I don't, but I don't think it's, real, it's real, not really Liv, Liv Morgan's fault. It's kind of um, our truth's fault. If you would have been so stupid, so stupid enough to go over to let, let, let Bill Morgan manipulate her, then they wouldn't have lost the tag team titles last night. The raw tag team titles last night. 
What an idiot. Now, this is one of my favorite songs right here, Circle of Life. One of my favorite songs of all time. I grew up, but this is one of my favorite songs when I was little. Circle of Life by Elton John. One of my favorite all time songs. Lion King. Celebrated 30th anniversary of this movie. Song of the Blues, my childhood. Oh, Till we find our place. On the prayers of Marty. You know, if it hadn't been for Liz Morton, Awesome Truth would still be the Raw Tag Team Champions last night. It's true. <laughs> So much I gotta say last night, not last night. So much I have to say. When was the last time all of you said Hakuna Matata? Lion King was my childhood. My childhood will live on forever to get Walt Disney. Lee Lincoln had a real point. If it wasn't for Liz Morgan, Lee Vega would be in the money in the bank when he was playing the bank man. Come on, it'll be gone stand up. On the plane, in the circle. What a terrible show Triple H and Nick Khan put up last night. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. It means no worries. For the rest of your days, it's our own grief, philosophy, Akuna Matata. It has to be belated 30th anniversary to the Lion King. Jane, June 24th, 1994, Friday. Idiotic last night in Indianapolis. Very, very fucking in, in, idiotic last night. Can you believe it? Very, very idiotic. Let's see.
Okay. Indianapolis, Indiana, the local oil stadium. 212,000 and 212,269 fans were in attendance. Miz was on commentary. Michael Cole last night. Michael Cole last night. Cole says not getting the reason why Pat McAfee isn't here. But you know why Pat McAfee wasn't there? Because he got a little he got a little attack from one of the one of the bloodlines. That's why. Raw episode was number one thousand and six hundred and twenty two. Wow. We see Drew McIntyre coming out here addressing his attack on CM Punk. And, he, and, every, and last week, everyone was talking about how he was quick. And he's not talking about that. But it was all, all that was just a ruse. Everybody wants to see uh, yeah, Everybody wants to see him. Well, we all know CM Punk will get his revenge on Drew McIntyre. He'll get his revenge. Hopefully we come SummerSlam on August the third. Yeah, we'll see. We're gonna pay Drew McIntyre. Just because he cost him the title, the WWE title in his own home country of Scotland against Damian Priest. But you brought on your you brought, you brought on yourself, Drew. You shouldn't have knocked the referee down. Drew McIntyre looked said he looked looked crazy, prayed for this. Made it happen. He said that everyone has been chanting CM Punk's name and thing for months. And Drew McIntyre says he's done with the people. When they chant his name, it's just a memory. It's once meant months listening to him and tell them what kind of person CM Punk really is. At WrestleMania and Clash the Castle, Punk screwed him in front of his family and friends and country. Well, you brought it on yourself, Drew. Punk didn't screw, 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 Punk didn't screw McIntyre. Drew McIntyre screwed Mc, Drew McIntyre. He even said he promised his wife he'd win the world title and all that stuff. And everything. He says he's gonna go to the let money ladder, ladder match. He will enter the money bank ladder match. Punk will watch alone in pain and misery. He said, and McIntyre will win the match. He says. In Review, I guess Review.com, he says it was a good opening match. Um, segment with Drew McIntyre continuing to make this feud against CM Punk. Disagree. And we saw a little video from last week. The Wire Six, led by Uncle Hyde, made a bloody violent state debut at the at the show's end. In a little parking garage, little parking garage. Black FUU steps out, and it's Chad Gable who has a um, cut from his head from the Wire Six attack. Security escorts Gable into the arena. Gable was not happy. Campbell happy Campbell should be around him. Whatever you arrogant piece of shit. Then it ready we see Brown Breaker making his making his entry to face Lou Cousin when he annihilated last week in his next. Then we little interview Kathy Kelly is outside with Gable's locker room, guarded by security. She wants to get about get comment from Gable about his money in the bank qualifying match. And Kelly says many W says many W superstars shot that Gable will be in action tonight. She wants to find out about this entries with the hands of Wyatt the Wyatt Six. Then we see a little um little um replay of Kaiser attacking Sheamus and all that stuff being in Brown Breaker and all, all that uh, crap. Then we a little interview with Jackie Redman, we've been Brian Kaiser. And um, how you saw about Braun Strowman and everything. Then the match with this time, and then uh, we see the match Braun Breaker and Ludwig Kaiser. Ding, ding, ding! The bell rings. They lock up, and uh, Braun Breaker uh, powers Kaiser in the corner. Bam! Whip. 
all in uh And we saw in uh later on in the match we this is where I see uh later in the match Brown Breaker grabs Fry Kaiser by the throat, goes for a grill press, but Kaiser slips out. Breaker gives him a belly belly suplex over the top row. Breaker goes outside to follow him follow him to try to just but he hits the ring steps head first when Kaiser steps uh, steps the spear attempt. Kaiser gets into the ring and leaves the opposite leaves at the opposite of the end. Kaiser gives Kaiser charges to a hit to a kick, much like he did to the new day, Giovanni Vinci a while back. But Seamus cuts him off with a vicious knee to the face. Winner Ludwig Kaiser. And Seamus celebrates with the fans before clearing commentary table. Seamus goes for a power bomb, goes to power on Kaiser, but Breaker hits him with a spear, knocking Seamus down, dropping Kaiser on him. Now right, Brian Breaker walk, walks off. This that this was really this is just uh terrible. My where I this 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 um this match in my sit in my where I live in Indianapolis tonight, last night. What this is terrible. And restreview.com said, Wow, Brian Breaker's getting over huge. Amazing what a few terrific moment segments can do for someone. Breaker is on is the precipice of breaking out in a huge way. I'm excited to see where this year takes him. Disagree. Disagree 100 percent Completely disagree. Yeah, we'll see a little Judgment Day Clubhouse segment. And Judgment Day was playing WWE 2K14 wherever champion. Damon Priest walks in. Dum Dum says these are all gifts from Liv Morgan. Mysterio shows that he got his phone number and holds a, a picture of a, a picture she sent him. The entire judgment day looks at it and Carlito stunned and Brio says, That's cool. Priest admonishes Carlito. Priest says Mysterio will have to explain to Rhea Ripley how Morgan got his number. Priest tells Mysterio to find a way to end this tonight. As for the wet rest of the Judgment Day, and he wants them to concentrate on Braun Strowman, who has their way with them these these past few weeks. Instead, they enjoy their game. They all they agree they take take the care of Strowman. Indy Ree and Lyra Barker makes their entrance, and, and um, Brian Breaker and said um, was walking backstage, pounds on Adam Pierce General, um, Adam Pierce's office, and we saw and we saw and Brian Breaker we saw Brian Breaker confronting Sam Zayn. It looks like you no, know, it looks like it looks to me that Brian Breaker wants um, Zayn's Intercontinental Title, and Breaker told him, "I'm going to destroy you." Well, he almost, you know, just remind, you know what that reminds me of when he said it reminds me of Dred, uh, Dolph Lundgren's character, Ivan Drago from Rocky IV, when he told Stallone's character, Rocky Balboa, I must break you. I must break you. There we go. Got it. Now it's sounding like uh, little Dolph Lundgren. I must break you. That's it. Wait. I must break you. Yeah, I think, I think I got it. Yeah, thank you. Now it's time for the uh, Money in Bank qualifying, qualifying match triple threat. Lyra Valkyrie versus Kyrie Zane versus Shayna Baszler. The bell rings. Now this is what yeah, this is why I'm not happy about right here. The bell rings. Valkyrie not saying back back in the back and all that stuff. And uh, crowd was chanting, "This is awesome in the match." Now, this is this is a really okay match and uh crowd chance this is awesome to lay in the match. Zang stuns Basil with the backhand. Yeah, it was the, the qualifying match. Um Lyra Valkyria, Kyrie Zane, and Shayna Baszler. Crowd was chanting, This is awesome. 
This is awesome. Zane stuns Basil with a backhand, goes for the top, goes to the top rope. But Basil cuts her off with a kick. Valkyrie grabs Basil, but Basil counters into a perfect clutch. Valkyrie leaps back and covers, but she lets go as Zane hits Basil with an insane elbow. Valkyrie quickly grabs Zane, um, hits the Nightwing for the win. And the winner, winner, Lyra Valkyrie. This, okay, I say this is. I give this. This is a good. It's okay match. So now she joins Lyra. So from Raw, Lyra Valkyrie Raw joins EO Sky, and Chelsea Green in the Women's Main Event Ladder Match. Please let Lyra Valkyrie win this match. Please, she 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 needs this. Please let Lyra Valkyrie win this match. I, you know, I, I don't think I don't think that's not gonna happen. They're not gonna like um. I bet WWE Triple H Nick Khan. Gonna make, um, gonna um, fuck over Lyra Bakery and, and let Chelsea Green get all the spat like her, her, her annoying ass. There's no way to, tr to trust me. They're, they're, they're not gonna let Lyra Bakery win this match. Trust me, they're not gonna let Lyra Bakery win. And they're just gonna shove annoying Chelsea Green in our throats. I get this from WrestleView.com. It says that Lyra Bakery continues to be a focus in the WWE Women Raw Women's Division, getting a win against Money in the Bank qualifying match. Valkyrie is great and will have some big moments in a lot of the match, but she is desperate in need of a character study. You know what? I don't. Um, I don't think so. Because uh, they're, they're, they're just gonna they're just gonna shit all over her and and and, and um, like they, like she did was in NXT um, with uh, with uh, Roxanne Perez. Lyra Valkyrie is the winner. They better do something. I mean, I don't, I don't think, or, or they probably, not, I don't mind, because you know how, I know how WWE is. Now we see a little backstage stuff, and Drew McIntyre was backstage arguing with Roger General Manager Aaron Pierce. Pierce says that everyone has to qualify for the Money in the Bank match, especially someone who quit last week. Pierce says McIntyre doesn't deserve a spot after all the questions reference he's caused. McIntyre says he hasn't deserved all those things. CM Punk has done to him. McIntyre says he has faith that Pierce will do the right thing or we'll find out the meaning of disruption. McIntyre charges off past when, when WWE Raw Women's Champion Liv Morgan. Morgan smiles as the camera follows her. She goes through the tunnel in a brutal position. Now to the stage to make an entrance. She's wearing a shirt that says Daddy's Girl referring to her calling referring to her um Calling their dumb dumb daddy. Yeah, just like he called Rhea the whore Ripley mommy. Looks like dumb dumb called looks like dumb dumb called Rhea the whore Ripley mommy. Now we see a video. Uh, it was not it was announced that Triple H said that Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, WrestleMania are coming to Indianapolis Saturday, February first, two thousand twenty-five. Uh. That's ground. Oh wait, February first is uh, is that Groundhog Day? No, no, I don't, I don't think that. Uh, wait, I think I'm wrong. No. So wait, so yeah, wait, wow. So wait, wait. Yeah, Saturday, February first, two thousand twenty-four, kick things off the Royal Rumble. There's no word on when WrestleMania SummerSlam will come to the Lucas Oil Field. Wow. SummerSlam with Wrestle so Royal Royal Rumble is not gonna be no longer in January. Wow. Now it's gonna move to February. What about what about what about um Jan what about their paper from January? I mean are they gonna play are gonna push you to New Year's Revolution? And uh, they're new they're gonna move um replacing Royal Rumble the New Year's Revolution for their pay per view for January? Probably so, since since Royal Rumble was moved to um, moved to, moved to uh, February. This is really shocking. This wow.
Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, there was someone knocking on the door. It was my, uh, my um, stepfather, Mr. Rick. Where was I? Um, oh, yeah. Um, really shocking. We're big and that real big and that's right. What else? Uh, Yeah, Triple H was talking to the mayor of Indian Indianapolis, and the commentators talked about this match partnership between WWE and in Indianapolis. Security sits by, by nearby the wire six, six attack. Indiana Pacers star Tyrese Halberton is at ringside. Halberton is on FaceTime with United States champion Logan Paul. See, um, now out comes Liv Morgan standing by the ringside and says, "Oh, dumb, she says, oh, dominant," and she couldn't get him back, back them get him to back, um backstage. She figured she would come out here to get dumb, dumb, dumb's attention. She hopes she likes the gifts she sent, but she hopes she he likes the text she she sent even more. Morgan knows Mysterio is playing hard to get, but once he realizes she gets what she is, what she realizes she is what she wants. Morgan has, has so much more. Rhea, Rhea Ripley never got Mysterio gifts. Morgan says she cares about Mysterio. She calls him Daddy Dom and wants him to come out and thank her for the gifts. She promises to give him one more gift in front of all these people. Now come come Zelina Vega of the LWO. Yeah, comes out comes out instead. Vega says she has a gift for everyone, which is shutting the Morgan the hell up. And Vega says she doesn't know why Morgan is obsessed with Rhea Ripley. Well, um, re well, um. Well, Vega, last time I checked, um, Rhea Rip, uh, you were in the ring with Rhea Ripley. Um, let me remind you, Rhea Ripley is no saint. I remember uh, one time. Let's go back to the to way back to the time. I mean, look what she did to you, Selena. Look what Rhea Ripley did to you. Um, let's see. Let's go back back. Um. I don't think uh, Vega. I uh, um, I, don't, I think that's what she should have said to Liv Morgan. She should have said, you know. She said, she said, you know, if it wasn't for, if it hadn't been for you, I would have been in the women's money in the bank ladder match. And Liv Morgan would have said, oh please, you would have paid attention if you you, you screwed you screwed yourself. Vega, you should have paid more attention on the match, so it's your own fault. Yeah, I remember they. Yeah, uh, I think didn't they feud? Didn't they wear in the ring before they? In that, I, mean, I remember they. Um, I think they fought in the ring. They feuded, fought in the ring before. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, who can forget? Yeah, she's yeah, re, re, yeah, Vegas. Who can forget? Re, Vegas seems to forget about. Um, it's funny, you know, it's really funny. Vegas talks about why why Liv Morgan was obsessed with Vegas with, with Rhea Ripley when she one time she forget about about um one about a year ago. Sorry about the host. Um, um, technical difficult little screen was freezing. Um, as I was saying, uh, yeah, um, well, we'll, well, I'm gonna get to, uh, a little bit later.
Let's see. Um. Yeah, that's right. Um. Who could ever forget? Uh. Backlash two thousand. Um. Um. Well, um, um. Yeah, she talks about how. Um. How Rhea Ripley? How she? She talks about Liv Morgan talks about how she's obsessed with Rhea Ripley and all that stuff. And um. And she forgets how what what uh. Vega has done what 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 or what Ripley has done to her, her her um way back. Yeah. And uh um let's see what else. So you're trying to, uh, yeah, she talks about, uh, she talks about how, um, she took out Reaver for his champion, um, she's, t she's talking about how Morgan forgot about why Mid one is trusting Dirty D. Baker is actually chasing the women's champ world, world women's title. Morgan says the title is the more important thing in her life. She took out Rhea for his title. She put Becky Lynch in the early time for this title and it means more. Nothing more. Morgan, Vin Morgan says she's about having fun. Morgan is scheming for those opportunities. Becky is star for hers. Um, Y'all always put Morgan's libido. Wow. Morgan says that's not true. Becky tells Morgan, put the title in line right here in Indianapolis. Crowd likes that idea. Morgan says she loved to, but she's in the middle of Morgan. So next week, Becky says she won't wait until next week. Dirty Dum Dum makes his way to ring. Dum Dum, she says, um, she says sloppy seconds, and um, Dum Dum says she doesn't li like um, all the presents and gifts, and um, crowd booze, and and Vegas says he knows he had a difference with mommy referring to Rhea Ripley. Well, I don't really care about Rhea Ripley. Um, um, she, I mean. Well, it was really wrong for her, for that, for that, I mean, um, yeah, back, I, uh, who could forget Backlash 2023? When Bria the Horror Ripley beat, um, Lena Vega. And, um, um, the Rip, Rhea Ripley beat her in, 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 uh, in, a in, uh, um, in, uh, Lean Vegas hometown of New York, Backlash 2003, 2023. And um, it's funny, you know, who who really don't cares about about um um and um and um, wine well, and you talk about wine, and she wants wants um, and Dum Dum says she wants Vegas help help. I mean, why why should Dum Dum Help, why should Dum Dum help? Why should Vega get Dum Dum's help after all the hell she put her and the LW through and her, what, and what her, what he, and he put, um, he, he would put her father, Ray, put his father, Ray Mysterio through. Vega starts to track, trash to Dum Dum, so, so Morgan takes Vega from behind. Dum Dum, um, and the Ray Mysterio, and Dum Dum's father, Ray Mysterio, runs down, pulls Morgan off Vega, Ray bumps into his son, and he runs over. Rega flexes, backs right into his son, Dum Dum, shows his father down hard. Wow, total disrespect. Father day, and Father's Day was just last, was just the other day. Just last two, two week, weeks from last Sunday. Morgan looks pleased and chases after Dum Dum and heads to the back. This was um, crap, but, but, um, I, um, but, um, WrestleView.com says, um, he's absolutely loving this, um, Little more stone as he pursues Dirty Dum Dum to take everything from Rhea Ripley. Some real good stuff to re um, build Rhea Ripley's return. I agree and disagree. I mean, I agree and disagree with WrestleBee.com. Then we see a little backstage interview, a little interview backstage segment, Kathy Kelly. 
Hey, what's up? Up next, it's the little um. Dum Dum says he wants nothing to do with, with uh um Liv Morgan. And then we see um Liv Mo I see um little uh segment. Our truth was uh our truth was um talking with uh or Liv with the, um Liv Morgan. And Mark Miz is shocked at this game running back to stop this. And Miz knows that um, Liv Morgan's manipulate him. And we see Brian Sherman make his way in the ring. And um, and Chad Gable was talking to the crowd and the crap like that. And we see a little triple threat match. Qual Money Bank qualifying match, triple threat match. Brian Sherman versus Brian Cerebro versus Chad Gable. And we see what happens. That's what happens later in the match. Something that this really pissed me off. Let's let's to see what. Let me tell you what, what what happened. Strowman then hits. What happened was um, Dirty Dum Dum, Finn Balor, Carlito, JD, and McDonald to run down to attack Strowman. Strowman fights them off, but they overwhelm him off uh, on ramp. The ring ramp. In the ring, Gable climbs on the top rope and hits Reed with a moonsault for the win. Winner is Chad Gable. Now I'm not completely happy about. This is really um, um, unbelievable. Um, why? Why Chad Gable? This is terrible. Then um, we see little Y6 come out. And let's see little see the woman in um, Sister Abigail. Woman Sister Abigail. We know that's Nikki Cross from Sister Abigail. With his sister Abigail, that's Nick, Nick Cross, and um, and and uh, um, well, a lot, a lot of the people I would say that Sister Abigail was gonna be Nick was gonna be Lexa Bliss, but nah. So I knew they're gonna be able to Sister Abigail, um, Sister Abigail, Nick Cross. Now I'm looking at a future women's champion right there. What well, is um? Something uh, uh, you know, this is, was really some creepy stuff right there. They, they, they were, um, Chad Gable was looking scared to death and ran out of the ring. And then Michael Cole, my camera just says, got a little big VHS bus says, Play me. And uh, you saw we see Chad Gable, sir, is really really happy. And then you know, um, we see always apologizing, which I don't, I don't know why she did she apologize to me. I don't think, I mean, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, are they jobbers now? Are they jobbers? Alpha Academy? I mean, Alpha, uh, Drew, I mean, Chad Gable's Alpha Academy members, oldest, here to sound Mexican Creek. I bet you they're going to push back in the heels, I mean, I mean, all this abuse of power, I mean, crap, and all this bullying, I mean, it's really, it's really crazy where I, in my hometown of Indianapolis, where I live. Then yeah, we go to a non title match. Tag Team Champions Al Alba Five and Isla Don versus Kane Carr and Katana Champs. Then we see um, um, the winners for Pump and later the match, the winners of Pump Fall, Alba Fire and Isla Don. Then we see this weapon Isla, Gil Sky, Kyrie Zane, and Cole Card Damage from the champions from behind for protecting Kyrie and Chance. Sky hits the. Um, Women's tag team champs with a moonsault, moonsault, win over the moonsault, damage control stands tall. Please, please pray to God, do not let the, the, the WWE not let, let them drop those, let I will find I'll drop those tires back to, um, to, to damage control, not to Sky, Kyrie Zane, not, not to Sky, back to Sky and Kyrie Zane. please, please pray, pray, pray to God, no. Or, here, well, um, Oscar's a little having a little injury. I don't know when she'll be back. Then we see a little backstage segment between the Judgment Day, Suck Fest. Then we see a little um, WrestleMania 40 documentary that will be available on YouTube on Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. The day, wow, well, the uh, night before, um, night before, uh, independent, um, yeah, Thanksgiving, well, um, 4th of July Eve. Independence Eve. Hmm. Fourth of July Eve. I don't know. Yeah. 
It's like Christmas Eve. Miz found find our truth backstage and he's telling him that don't let he's telling him don't let um Living Boy manipulate you and stuff. Then we see a little segment between Damian Priest addressing Seth freaking Rollins. Burn it down. But he makes his way with his convertible to Bill Spire little outfit. Can't believe he was in Indianapolis, Indiana where I am. Royal Rumble, he's talking about Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble coming in February and all that stuff. I'm no longer in January, and Priest came out, and they talked, they talked to each other, and, they were, and you saw, we saw it, and later on, they, they were shaking hands, step step challenges, and all stuff, and Green, and Green John Gunther says, come out and says, he hopes that, and he comes says, he hopes that, um, if, if, um, I don't know the one, he says something that, I uh, hopes that both of them, well, um, my, um, we all know the two might win the um, when the Kings, um, might be in the, um, Money in the Bank match. He said, if any of you try to cash in on me at SummerSlam, it's going to be a problem. That's what he said, Gunther. I don't know if this was, um, good segment, but, but last night's rough, rough, smack, uh, in the, last night's rough was terrible. Now we see a little, um, this little VHS, this little VHS stuff, and I mean, well, be, be well, 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 be, well, the little kid was showing that VHS test, he doesn't know about anything about VHS, but he wasn't born yet, because, um, all he knows about Blu-ray and DVD. Then this screen shows Uncle Howdy is shown, and he sounds, he's, um, he's a little, um, he says, Uncle Howdy talking to his alter ego, Bo Dallas, and, and they talk about the passing of, of Bray Wyatt. Well, segment I mean, how he asks is Dallas is folding his book his legacy. No rest. Of, I mean, I'll say this is a really creepy video from African for how they talking to Bo Dallas or something. Um, no, this reminds me of this reminds me of the faces of Foley segment between Mick Foley, Do Love, and Cactus Jack. Um, that's what it reminds me of uh, Mick Foley. Um, also he was talking to um to himself. Do love mankind, Cactus Jack, back in 1997. Really creepy stuff, I mean, but um, but Ray 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 White will be missed. Completely missed. I mean, we all miss Ray White. Then we see a little um, match with we'll match later, Kofi Kingston versus Karen Cross, and um. Karen Cross getting the win. I really don't care about the final testament. This this unit mean. Then we see a little um the Friday night SmackDown now they're becoming the New York City Madison Square Garden. This Friday. And it was announced that next Monday, um, it was announced that Cody Rhodes will team up with Randy Orton to battle of Bloodline. Next Monday the um Boston Massachusetts Drew McIntyre will battle um Sheamus and um, Boston at Dream Match will battle Sheamus and uh, Eli driving out the money in the bank. A triple threat match. He, Ivan and I is always starting, and, and the Cody Kai will compete in the money in the bank triple threat qualifying match. Dum Dum will battle fight with his Ray Mysterio. Fight Ray Mysterio next Monday. I'm gonna go with Ray Mysterio. And Liv Morgan defend the Raw Women's Title match. Um, women's Title match against Selena Vega. And then Finn Balor and Judgment Day, Finn Balor and James Gunn Judgment Day make their way to the um, ring for the Team Championship match. Then we go to the little, uh, then we go to the little tag, the little main event. Guess what happened? This, this, guess what happened? Guess what happened, happened in the match? Liv Morgan gets on the apron and calls R Troop over for a hug. Morgan smiles, disappears, and snaps on R Troop. Wow, what a ruse. Off the top rope, Bell hits R Troop with a woo drop kick. Bell falls over the coup de Rob for the win. The new Rob Tag Team Champions. Finn Balor and Judgment Day. Finn Balor and JD Madonna of, of, of the Judgment Day. Finn Balor and JD Madonna puzzle around with the World Tag Team Championship. 
the Raw Women Raw Tag Team Championship and um, Raw Women's Championship. Liv Morgan, champion Liv Morgan, runs to stand up to them between them. This match was all her doing. Michael Cole and Wyatt in Indianapolis, Indiana. This this terrible. And here are my final thoughts. I mean, some of you say that um, Liv Morgan has no conscience. Rhea Ripley ha doesn't have no conscience. I mean, she, I mean um, Rhea Ripley is just as a bitch as she is. And I really don't care about Rhea Ripley at this point. I really hope that they're not put, I feel like somehow WWE is going to make, um, put that problem just tied back on, on Rhea Ripley when she comes back from her injury. Where she doesn't deserve to have that belt anyway, because the only reason why she got that belt is because of the help from Judge Day and, and Dumb Dumb. Don't, no one who deserves more is Lyra Valkyrie. But I feel like WWE is somehow going to screw up, screw up playing the bank. And something like that. I think I think Money in Bank is going to win. Very idiotic last night in uh in um in Indianapolis and Liv Morgan is an idiot. But it's really it's really much much her fault. Really our two's fault much is hers. He would never if he would never let if Mar if Mar Cooper would never let Liv Morgan manipulate him, they wouldn't have got screwed out of the raw tag team titles. That's a fact. Real fact. Complete garbage. Last night. Well, okay, um, those are my thoughts. Uh, now, let's see what, um, I know what it's time for. It's time for something I like to do. Hold on a second. It's time for something I like to do. So, uh, sorry, sorry, the screen will freeze. Something I like to do. Some of you know what this is. Sorry about that. It's time for Okay. Here we go. Come on. Little commercial ad. It's time for Justin's timeline capsule history of all the wrestling birthdays. Sports, everything, all the history, wrestling history, wrestling birthdays, sports, and pop culture, everything. So let's get down to business. And all you heard that little thing that's the thing from Back to the Future. Sorry, Michael J. Fox and Chris Floyd love Back to the Future. My all time favorites. Let's see, um, See, um, hold on a second. Let's go to Saturday. Let's go to Saturday, um, June twenty second, shall we?
the scene. This is it. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. The screen's freezing up again. Okay, um, let's see. Um, let's go to uh, birthdays. Um, Cindy Lauper turned 71 last Saturday. Who was um, who, who made who was part of the uh, 80s rock and wrestling era? Um, with, uh, um, tag team partners with Cindy Lauper, tag team partners with Randy Richter, and uh, feuding with Captain Lou Albano and Roddy Piper. Do a little the Goonies music video. For, uh, we had many WWE superstars and stars in the movie. And WWE Hall of Famers like Nikolai Volkov, Iron Sheik, Captain Lou Albino, so many more. John, yesterday would have been a happy 61st birthday to John Tenta, bearing down the Francis Earthquake and Avalanche. And, uh, Who else? So who else? Um, see yeah, those birthdays. Um, see, see, um, some wrestling history. See, June twenty second. Um, I think there was no wrestling history during June twenty second. Um. Let's go to the pop culture. Um, 1984 uh, movie called Ryan, um, Top Secret starring Val Kilmer was released in theaters nationwide. The Pulp of Greenwich was released in theaters starring Michael Pyre, Eric Robinson, and Daryl Hannah. Ryan Stone saw Sylvester Sloan and Dar Dolly, Hart Dolly Parton was released in theaters. And uh, a movie called um, The Karate Kid, box office hit starring Ralph Macchio and Pat Murray was released in theaters nationwide. And um, we can't see any sports. Yeah, the uh, the yep, the Knicks, the Houston Rockets defeated the New York Knicks, ninety to eighty four, become the NBA champions. Let's see, um, let's see what else. Uh, that was um, June 22nd, 1994. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Now let's go to June 23rd. Yesterday was a happy ninth birthday to uh King Maxwell, Matt, Matt Hardy's Matt Hardy's son, and then Robbie, Robbie Hardy's son, son of Matt Hardy and Rebby Hardy. Billy Kay turned thirty-five last Sunday. <clears throat> hey, Bill, Billy Kay, yeah. Brandy Rhodes, just the wife of Cody Rhodes, turned wife of the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, turned 40, 41 yesterday, 41 set Sunday. And then on June, June 23rd, 1984, a world class champion, world class heavy um, tournament took place in San Antonio, Texas. Jose Lothario defeated Bill Irwin, Gino Hernandez defeated George Weingroff, Terry Gordy defeated Black Boardman, Terry Von Eric defeated Johnny Mantell. Joel Sean Rowe defeated John Tatum. Buck Zonhoff defeated Michael Hayes. Kevin Von Erich um, defeated Killer Khan. Gino Hernandez defeated Jose Otherio. Joel Strombo defeated Buck Zonhoff. Rick Flair defeated Kevin Von Erich. Kevin Von Erich defeated Gio, Gino Hernandez. Rick Flair defeated Joel Strombo. And Gino Hernandez defeated Rick Flair to um, become the NWA Texas Heavyweight Champion. And uh, and a little segment on WWF All um, on WWF Championship Wrestling, the Piper's Pit, where Captain Al Blue Albino interviews, well, Roddy Piper interviews Captain Albino by um, some of the nasty things he said about Cindy Lauper's family. It's terrible. In uh, 2000, and, uh, see 1994. Clash of Champions took place on TBS. Clash of Champions. Twenty-seven on TBS. Um, um, Hector Jack and Kevin Sullivan defeated Brian Knobs and Jerry Sag for the uh, WCW Tag Team Titles. Guardian Angel defeated uh, Hex, defeated Tex Slanger. Laura Steven Regal defeated Larry Zabisco for the World WCW TV title. Johnny Bad defeated Stunning Steve Austin um, by DQ for the United States title. And Rick Flair defeated Sting by, Sting by Pinfall to become the WCW International World Heavyweight Championship and World WCW World Heavyweight title. He was a unified WCW Unified Champion. And uh, all I would, the thing that oh, was a setup. The whole thing was a setup, and, and Ric Flair started to chill turn and align himself with Sensational Sherry. Then Hulk Hogan came and made a save, made a save, made a save Sting. He agrees that this Saturday, at uh, this Saturday, this Saturday at a press conference for the Bastard Beach, he will sign sign a contract to face Ric Flair for the WCW title. Then in 2004, um. They aired a second um, weekly and second anniversary show 
TNA on pay per view. <laughs> James Storm, Chris Harris and James Storm defeated Kazuri, Kazuri Nasawa and Kazushi Miyamoto for the NWA Tag Team titles. Train defeated Desire in a stretch match with the help of Big B, though, from WWE, who joined TNA. Jerry Lynn defeated Scott D'Amore. Masquerade Cigar defeated um, Minnie Poroff. AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy, um, newcomer. Joins, joins TNA, makes his TNA debut, Jeff Hardy. Yeah, Jeff Hardy makes his TNA debut. He faced off against AJ Styles, and they both of them fought in the draw, no count out for the NWX Division, NWX Division title. Jeff Jarrett um, and Ron True Killings, we know it was R2, um, fought in the draw, no count out for the NWA World Heavyweight title. And in Pop Culture 2004, a movie called White Chick Star and the Wings Brothers released in theaters nationwide. In 2014, on Monday Night Raw, on June 20, June 23rd, 2014, Vicky Guerrero gets fired by Stephanie McMahon after she lost to a match. And, uh, let's see. Now let's go to yesterday's yesterday's um, June twenty um, June the twenty fourth. Tiny Lister, um, wrestler and actor known as Debo from the Friday movies, was um, he would have been in his set. Uh, he would have been uh, sixty-six yesterday, I believe. And Adam Pierce on his birthday, with Adam Pierce's birthday yesterday, and wow. Monday Night Raw, and, uh, he made a terrible show last night on his birthday, Adam Pierce, didn't he? On his 44th birthday, 46th birthday, he made a terrible, Raw General Manager Adam Pierce made a terrible show on his 44th birthday, didn't he? And, uh, Jessamine Duke. Was uh forty, uh was thirty eight yesterday. And uh, a couple of movies released in theaters. Um, the pop culture. A couple of movies released in theaters nationwide. Um, uh, The Lion King, Disney animated feature film. Um, um, released in theaters. Disney movie. A little box office hit and Wired Earth starring Kevin Costner, Dennis Quay, and Gene Hackman was released in theaters. And look, in uh, 1974, from the World Wide Wrestling Federation, now WWE, and in Madison Square Garden, New York City. Jose Gonzalez defeated Tony Altamore. Valiant Brothers defeated Dean Ho and Tony Green in a two out of three tag, two out of three falls tag team match for the WWF, WWF International Tag Team Titles. A Stacks Calhoun and Larry Zabisco defeated Killer Kowalski and Otto Von Heller. Giant Baba defeated Grill Monsoon. Pedro Morales defeated Black Gordon. Bruno San Martino and Chief Chase Jumbo defeated Freddie Blassie and Nikolai Barkal in two out of three tag. Two out, of three, two out of three falls tag team match by pinfall. And I'm uh, this, uh, let's see, 2004. Two thousand four on Monday night on SmackDown.
The Undertaker. Defeated John Cena. I'm on SmackDown. Let's see, uh, see what else. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in a console energy center on WWE main event. Bad news bearer, Jack Swagger, Seth Rollins defeated Dolph Ziggler with Kofi Kingston and RVD. Bodas to be a Fandango with Layla and Rybacks to be R2 and Xavier Woods. And that's it. And um that will do it. Subscribe to me to Godfather Soldiers. I hope all of you enjoyed my little review about how terrible uh show was last night. In in episode and um before I close out this midnight. Before I close out the show, I'm going to close out something for all of you. Since all of you know that yesterday was the 30th anniversary of the smash hit Disney movie, The Lion King, I'm going to close out the show with this other number one hit single called uh, Can You Feel Love Tonight by Elton John from the movie The Lion King. One of my favorite childhood songs. Changed my childhood forever. Disney was, was my Disney was my life. Uh, Disney changed Disney, Disney, Disney. Childhood, my childhood will live on forever with this song. Disney movie. Um, the Lion King, Can You Feel a Love Tonight by Ellen John. So I hope all of you have a good midnight, and here is and here is something to close out. This, um, no, I, I um I should just uh, sing it for all of you. Since um since sing it for all of you. Right now, can you feel a little like from the Lion King? By I'm gonna sing it for all of you. Since the, since the, yeah, yeah. There's a town surrender to the rush outdoors and the heat of the roaring rain can be turned away in this winter moment. And she out for this restless warrior just to be with you. And can you feel the love tonight? Tonight it is where we are. Can you feel the love tonight? Kuna Matata. Can you feel the love tonight? Tonight, baby. Explain to the rest. It's enough to make kings and vagabonds. 
Akuna Matata. My childhood loves not forever. Akuna Matata. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. It's the time for everyone. I'm going to let sing this little part. And can you feel the love tonight? It's a love, but it's one that I wonder of. And we got as far. Can you feel the love tonight? Tonight, I'm saying to you, it's enough to make kings and vagabonds believe the best. Kings and vagabonds. Believe the very best. And happy belated 30th anniversary to the Lion King. Oh, I just can't wait to be done. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Good old days, hasn't it? Well, my childhood lives on forever. I, I always loved the Lion King when I was little. I was on a field trip to see that movie when I was little. Good old days. That's it for all of you. All of you just heard that little song, can't lose, or a little singing a little bit. Well, hope all get a good night. I'm out here. Have a good midnight. Monday night, I'll tell you, a terrible show last night in Indianapolis, where I live. I'm out of here. Peace. Subscribe to me, Godfather, so you some spending. Have a good midnight. Take it easy. Peace. I'm out of here.